What's going on, guys? Oh, welcome back to the channel. It's Clutch here. Ah, what are we doing today? Well, we're still working away over on this field that we plan on flipping. Uh, you may remember from our last episode, guys, we purchased this field. This kind of offset field here. Uh, we had a couple problems, of course, play to get it to work, but uh, we managed to get some workers in here to harvest it and drop all of our grain off just over there into our silo. So we've got yeah, a silo full of grain. We're gonna go sell that off probably today as well. And uh, we've got now all the straw that's in this field left over that uh, I'm trying to quickly collect so I can quickly sell this field off as soon as we possibly can here. Now we got quite a bit. I had to go buy a pickup trailer here so that uh, we could pick up all the grain, or the straw I should say. Because I didn't have anything yet that could pick this up. But uh, we're going to need this anyways. Like I said, I want to do cattle on this farm. So this here is the cheapest possible trailer, pickup trailer we could pick up. Pickup trailer we could pick up. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, so we got this trailer going. Uh, I'm going to pick up as all... The, oh, it's going to take us a long time to pick up all this grain, isn't it? Wow. So we're going to pick up all this grain, or the straw, I should say. And there we go. You know what? We're just going to bounce over the tracks here because it's a bit of a pain. Go boom. Boom. Oh, no train's coming. Awesome. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, all the way back to town. So we're gonna pick this all up. Uh, I wanna make as much as I possibly can off this field since we are just flipping it. That was the whole idea. That was the whole purpose. Um, so we're gonna make, uh, hopefully I have enough to pay for this trailer at least. This trailer was what, 46 grand, I think? I had to take another $5,000 out, I think, to pay for it. But uh, I'm hoping to be back in the block today as soon as we uh, sell this i need to pay back my loan i need to also pay back uh for what else did i have oh i got all the grain in there that i'm gonna start shipping off as well today so that should cover everything anyway, let's get our hazards on before we uh get going down the road here let's run the stop sign anyways let's go uh, sell this stuff off guys we got a lot of stuff to do today uh, and i want to work on the farm a little bit but oh man we got so much work i gotta get done let's get to our pitter patter Clutch simulations. All right, guys. So I want to get course play working on this field. Cause I've got it's gonna be a lot more work than I was really hoping to do with this. And um, you know what? It's a good time to test this out. So I've gone and bought another piece of equipment. Got a little more in debt. Um, this would have been a lot easier if I would have thought of this beforehand. Yesterday when we were doing the combining, the harvesting of this, this would have worked out just fine. But um, well, since we didn't do it then. Yeah, so I've already got a course set up, as you can see here, for the um, the head rower. The, uh, <laughs> what am I looking for? The, uh, yeah, so I can make some head rows. The wind rower, that's the word I was looking for. There we go. So the wind rower is going to be essentially be on the same path as what the harvester did yesterday. It's just set its path up to go around. You can see I've done two laps of the headlands already, and now it's just going to start and do uh, just some back and forth across the field just to make uh, a couple of, of uh, wind rows essentially for the other tractor that we'll use to pick up pick up these wind rows. So he's just going to go around now and he's going to start picking all this stuff up. Nothing special with this one. We did this yesterday. Uh, it's just field work. And you can see there I had smooth two, uh, two headlands and the rest are now are just going to go back and forth all the way through the field fairly straightforward so oops wrong way wrong way wrong way there we go so now as for our forge wagon uh, i've got it set so that it will copy the copy the course of the uh the wind rower so it's the m6 that was there i copied the course over and i also made a course so if i go into here this is field 13 straw sale and what i did there is i made a course that goes starts right over here and it goes to where the sail point is, which is way down over there. So now uh, we can fire this up, drive course, and it will automatically start picking up the straw because it's going to follow the course of the wind roar. And I don't know what he is doing down there. Fantastic. I love when that happens. Interesting. Well, that's not supposed to happen. Let's see if I can fix this guy up. Uh, where'd he go? This one here. You stop what you're doing because you are driving me crazy. So he must have spun around right there for some reason. I don't know why he would have done that. He wasn't supposed to. But uh, we'll get that fixed up. That's not a problem. We'll bring him down over here. 
Uh, we will set to the next closest waypoint, which should be right about here is where I was expecting him to go. I don't know why he decided to do that. So now he's on this path right here. I'm not sure what was going on there, why he decided he was going to pick that spot, but um, he did. I might have to do some fixing up there. It looks like we might miss one wind row here that uh, we'll have to fix later. Bizarre. <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking. Anyways, let's go back to... Where is he? There's this guy. So now, this guy's about to fill up. And as soon as he's full, he's going to notice that. And now, he's simply going to head over to the other path that I've created that's going to head all the way down to uh, the cell point. Let's see what he does here. Anyways, so this is like a lot of... This is a lot more field than I was expected to be perfectly honest. I was looking at this and I'm like, oh yeah, this ain't so bad. But then I get around about half of the field and my, my uh, forage wagon was completely full of straw. So this is going to take a lot longer. If I can automate this, this will make my life a whole lot simpler and I can work on some other projects while these guys are doing that. And uh, yeah, let's see, don't drive into the creek, don't drive in the creek. Oh, I thought he was going to drive right into that ditch. It's scaring me. <laughs> I don't trust course play yet. Oh, man. So here you can see this here is the trail that he's going on. He's going all the way down to the sail point. And now I'm just going to watch. There's our wind rower, the 6M. I'm hoping he's going to flip around. He stopped. He's backing up. I don't know why he has to back up, but he does. And he's going to flip around. There we go. Excellent. So he's doing kind of what I expect him to do. Meanwhile, this guy here... He's going to follow our sail point. Perfect. So far, guys, we're looking good. We're looking good. We're looking good. Loving it. <laughs> so, now, course play is not currently uh, available for multiplayer, if you may have looked at uh, the, the video I did earlier on this as well. Um, there are some bugs, I guess, with some mods. I haven't ran into anything quite yet. Uh, they're warning about it, so this is obviously why I started with Michigan. Um, I haven't done too much with it yet. You guys saw a couple of videos, obviously, but uh, I haven't run in, into too many bugs yet in the sense. Every once in a while, something kind of funky happens where they lose track of the course. Um, I had a tractor almost drive into the river up here a minute ago, but uh, I'm not sure why it lost its course. It, maybe it never had it. I switched out of it at the wrong time, maybe. I don't know yet. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, we're going to be pulling up into the sail point. You can see here our sail point. This is it right here. This is the Double D Ranch, I believe it's called, something like that. He's going to just pull on in. Make us a little bit of money. Excellent. Now, the key is with this as well, you'll have to set a, uh, a tip function or a drop-off function. So you can see there's a little sign above the drop-off area there. You want that to be where the trailer is, not where your tractor is, if that makes any sense. So uh, it's my tractor's almost going to pull ahead too far. I almost missed it, to be perfectly honest. So it stops there. Stop. Thank you. So if you put, it, if you put the sign too far ahead or too far uh, back, you're going to miss it. So I always want to default a bit farther back, if that makes sense. Um, so there we go, we got another, was that about 10 grand? Or off 3 grand maybe, I mean? What, over the $10,000 mark? Yeah, 2100 bucks, perfect, okay. That's not bad, I'll take it. So this guy's gonna head back now, and he's gonna get back to work. Let's go back and wait for him at the field. Alright, so we're back in the field. Uh, this guy's still working on the windrows, and we've got the... Um, pickup trailers just pulling back in so we got our both our six M's working away here oh please don't run to the side of that good 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 so he's going to his stop location which is kind of right in that area and he's going to look for the last location I believe that he went to I'm hoping so he's just pulling up you're going to see him kind of stop I think for a sec and then now he's going to go and hopefully he doesn't crash into this one perfect and now he's just simply going to whatever his last location was and uh, he'll go from there. Now, this is going to be a bit of an issue. We're going to see what happens here. So he's not picking up anything yet. I don't believe he's... No, he hasn't turned the pickup on yet. He's just going down to where he ended off. And, oh, man, I hope this doesn't cause any issues. Because <laughs> they're going to both racing down the field at the same speed. And, yeah, knowing my luck, they're just going to run into each other now. <laughs> 
So hopefully he gets down to the bottom there, and then he'll just continue on his path, which will lead him around the field. I believe he's got one more pass of the field uh, around the edges in the, uh, what is it, the, the head, uh, yeah, the headlands there. He's got to finish off that one pass, I believe, and then he can start just following over here. I'm probably going to have to fix whatever that one issue is where this 6M doubled up there and was causing us a bit of grief. I'm going to have to fix that. We'll see exactly what he does there. But uh, once he's done that, I'm hoping I can just let him go and finish off all this work. And we can go work on something completely different. Oh, destroy those. Whoopsies. All right, so he should start moving anytime now. Get going. Get out of my way. Don't run into each other. Wow, that was close. That is the other thing. They don't seem, they don't notice each other, so they will run into each other, unlike the AI. These guys are set on a course from what I've seen so far. I don't know if that changes at all with anything else, but uh, yeah, you just really got to be careful with that stuff. Traffic, all that fun stuff, they don't care. They will run right into it. So just be aware of that. Awesome. So he's going to go around there. Uh, I'm going to go check up on him when he gets back. Finished off this one thing, that one, uh, <laughs> the one headlands. We'll see what happens over on the far side. We'll see how he does there. Just keeping an eye on our workers. <laughs> That's all we're doing right now. But as soon as they're uh, kind of set and good to go, we're going to let them be. And we're going to go work on something else. All right. All right, guys. So I want to start selling a bunch of this product that was off that field since we got a bunch of barley now. But I don't really feel like driving it myself. Um, since we have probably five or six trips we're going to need to make here. So uh, I'm going to set this up to do it on my behalf. So we're going to do a, what do we got here? So you can see this is the grain transport start at load. So this is going to start uh, right, or it's going to load right at the start. And then I'm going to set this up. So right here, that's going to be our start point. And here it should load when we start this. Unfortunately, we need to go do one run before we'll do this, I think. Anyways, <laughs> so we're, we've got barley, uh, best price for barley. There we go. So barley is, we've got 80,000 of it. 8,000 liters, and I want to sell it. What's our best price? The Farm Bureau Co-op. Perfect. So we're going to go drop this off at the co-op. Now I'm recording, and the co-op, I know which one that is. I've seen it before. It's over in front of uh, the main drag right by the fuel station there. So we're going to go do that. So that will uh, we're going to make a path to the co-op, and uh, then hopefully I can just let our driver go and do his thing. We don't need to worry about it. We don't need to babysit. We can just let this, uh, the, what is this, the uh, 6, right? This is the 6R? No, it's a 7R. 7R. 6M, 7R, we have, that's right. So we'll let the 7R just go do its run. We're not going to worry about him. He can go do his thing, and uh, it'll be all good. We'll make some money, and we won't have to worry about it. We'll have to do a little work. <laughs> I love course play for that stuff. Oh, we just got an income, 41000 we're up to now. So that uh, forage wagon, the uh, pickup wagon, just made a delivery. So we're going to be seeing him come back around this corner any second now, straight ahead of us. Because that's up at the Double D Ranch, I believe it is. There he is, actually. You can see him right now. Uh, but now, unfortunately, he's not going to take us into account. And well, neither will our tractor once uh, they get going. So you want to try and be as careful as possible and not have too many crossing points. Because that will cause us issues. <laughs> Let's see where he's going there. He's gonna zip by us. There he goes. Perfect. All right. So there's Pioneer. Co-op is the next one. So when you're doing course plane, you're dropping these bread breadcrumbs. The AI will try to emulate exactly the speeds you were doing, all that fun stuff. So if you speed up or slow down, it should do that as well. So it's a good idea to kind of slow down as you hit corners. All right. So and it's right in here. Oh, that was close. And there's nothing worse than hitting something when you're doing a recording of a uh, spot you want to go. All right, so we're going to set up our unload point. Boom. And now we're going to take it back down to the uh, the farm again. Excellent. So now once we're done this, we're also going to save this load. So this will be the co-op um, the co-op sell point, I guess. So we'll sell that or we'll save that so that whenever time we want to do a mass sale to the co-op, we don't have to redo this trail. We can actually just go into our save files and say, yeah, that's the shipment I want to do. It goes from the silo to the co-op, run that course, biome. She's done, she'll go, and we won't have to worry about it anymore. In theory, in, in theory. 
<laughs> now, that being said, we'll see. I'm having a couple issues here and there with that forage wagon still struggling a little bit to keep working in the field. We'll see what happens here when we get pulled up, if he's going to be working away or if he's stopped. Oh, man, I hope he's still working. It seems like I do have to go over there once in a while, just kind of make sure he doesn't get stuck on something. He hasn't driven himself into the drink yet, which I'm thankful for. But uh, we'll see where he is when we get up here. He should be working away, I'm sure, by now. So hopefully he's doing some picking up, because he's still got a lot of field left to go there. Oh, there he is. Uh, looks like he's doing something. We've missed a bit, but I don't know if that's just that one uh, with that was kind of weird right off the bat, the get-go there, that our, we got stuck on with our uh, wind roar. That yeah, looks like he's driving along. All right. I don't know if he's picking up anything or not. <laughs> it looks like he's on a spot where there's nothing to be picked up, to be perfectly honest. All right. So now the key with this as well that I've found is that you need to make it so that um, you're not stopping right on your start point. So you want to stop just before that. So we'll put our stop point kind of like right here. And blammo. So now our start point and our stop point are relatively close to each other. Uh, we can go down here. So our farm solid load, this is going to be barley. Perfect. And from here, we should be able to know we've got a number of runs to perform. We have 80,000. This is roughly 20,000. So five runs should be enough. Uh, let's run it. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed. Stop. Load. Oh, you're not loading. Why are you not loading? Uh, see, this is the problem with course play that I've always seen to struggle with. Let's see if I can figure this out. All right, so I just reset our start point. Hopefully, this fixes our issue. I don't know if it will. It did not. Oh, it did barely. So the start point's got to be pushed back a bit further than what you would expect. Otherwise, it'll miss it. And, uh, yeah, that's a bit of a pain. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so he's going to go run this one. I'm going to go see if I can fix. Uh, where is he? There he is, this guy here. So I'm not sure why. Stop the last trigger deactivated. Yeah. Anyways, drive course. He will drive his course now and do his thing. I don't know why he's having given me so much grief on this. Uh, every time he gets full right now, he is um, stopping. And it's kind of driving me crazy. So stop at last checkpoint or trigger. No, we don't want that to... We don't want him to stop. We want him to keep going, do his thing. So quit stopping. <laughs> so he's going to turn out there. We've got our other tractor heading out away. Perfect. And, yeah, we got two guys working away. This is what I was hoping would happen. We'll see now if this will continue to work. I'm not sure. We'll see. I'm a little nervous that uh, our other tractor is going to be going too fast and it's going to miss that the, the uh, start point again. So maybe make sure that you set your start points uh, back a bit further. I mean, I, I even said that at the start with the sell points when you drop off locations. Make sure you put those in a spot where it's not going to go too far past it because it seems like they want to drive past everything right now so maybe set it make sure you set everything back a bit otherwise you're going to miss those uh those hit markers the hit boxes for either pickups or drop offs so anyways that's something to, to keep in mind in fact let's switch over to this guy here and see how he does when he gets into the uh, the sell point here and give us some cash we're just going to be doing some supervising for a bit here like i said this is uh still a bit of a work in progress for me personally as well hoping that we can get this all to work out really well and uh we can kind of get things so we can focus on one thing at a time all right now if he stops at the right spot that's going to be key for us i hope i put it in the right spot looks like it's going to be okay stop 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 <laughs> perfect so i was nervous he was going to pull forward too far there but you can see where i set the tip point and where he actually stopped it, it's a little bit further forward than you would expect so anyways, we got lucky there. That's great. Now we're making some cash. That is perfect. Uh, that makes me happy to see that. Uh, don't need the train. And once again, we're going to go over the forge wagon here. Uh, let's see what he's going to do. He's going to pull up as well. And I, When I set his location, you can see I set it back a bit further so you guys can tell there that uh, it, it's still farther back than you'd or further forward than I was expecting it would be. But uh, you may want to make sure that you put that just be, make note of where you put it, that's all, because otherwise you're going to miss it. So you can see he kind of sped up there, almost missed the whole location, which is kind of annoying. Perfect. All right, well, this is looking good. I need this guy to go back, and hopefully he does 
stays on his course and doesn't stop at the end of his of his route this time. I hope that that's what that uh, stop at last point or next trigger does. That's the only thing I can think of that was set for some reason. I don't remember setting that on. I might have hit it by accident. I don't know yet. Um, and we can go back to him. He's going in to get some more, more grain. Perfect. Looking good, guys. Ah, yes. Making some money. I'm almost ready to sell that field. <laughs> we'll see how that all works out. So once we get the rest of that uh, that straw off there, I'm going to sell that field back. Hopefully what time is it? We're at 3 o'clock. we got enough time in the day here to get this finished off. <laughs> because I want to sell that field. That's my bigger concern, to be perfectly honest. But I've got, you know, 400000 in loans I want to pay off right away before we get charged interest on it overnight. Oh, man, what a pain. Okay, let's see how he does here. Let's see how he makes out with this pickup, because I'm a little concerned that he's still going to pull too far ahead. I'm hoping that I set it in the right spot, but I can't be guaranteed yet. Stop. And it's nice and slow. Go nice and slow. Yeah. So we've done one load, it says down the bottom. You can see number of loads to perform. We've done one. Okay. Stop now. Stop, 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 stop. Ah, oh, see, it went too far. So, once again, I need to fix this. So I'm going to fix this up. We'll take care of it in a second here, but make note of that, guys. So learn from my mistakes. All right, I'll fix this up, and we'll finish off that field. we got some more. one more thing I want to work on. All right. All right, guys, so everything is now sold. Uh, got all our tractors back, all our equipment's put away for now. Uh, everything is sold over there. We've got everything off there for the most part. There's a little bit left, a little straw left, but I'm not going to worry about that. Let's sell that field and make some money back. Let's go back in here. All right, where are we? If I can just zoom out a little bit. Oh, it doesn't like doing that. That's right. Uh, and lands. And we'll sell this back. If, uh, there it is maybe so thank you yes perfect look at that five hundred and twenty six thousand let's go repay our loan oops uh repay this whole thing back and we should end up be back over a hundred thousand i believe maybe maybe not i didn't check to be honest <laughs> but uh so we flipped that field there we go one hundred thirty one thousand. we were down to what fifty thousand something like that uh yeah that's not bad and we've got some new equipment we've got a new trailer we've got what else a wind rower now that's not bad i'm happy with that that's awesome um so one thing before we finish off today guys i wanted to add something that uh i've been told we don't have a lot of on this field and there's no places to really take out water i mean there's the ditches i suppose uh but the only real water source is back in town there's a water tower you can get water at but i wanted to get something kind of on my farm now I thought of just doing a water tank. That'd be simple. But how about instead we do a pond? So let's get going here. Let's see what we can build. So we're over in miscellaneous. And let's put a pond right on our, on our farm here. And we're going to use that for our temporary water source. If I can get to it. Where is it? Uh, she's down there. Perfect. Excellent. So this here is going to be where our pond is going to go. I'm going to put it kind of close to the road. Uh, yeah, sure. That'll work. Boom. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, why won't you let me place it? <laughs> well, maybe we won't do a pond. Oh, we did place it. I didn't see it. <laughs> I could not tell that I placed a whole bunch of them there. That's awesome. All right, so we got a pond in place. <laughs> I couldn't tell it was being placed. I didn't see any money uh, disappearing. So now uh, we need to landscape in order to get this to work properly. So put it to sculpting. There we go. And make sure I get my, my controls right on this. So this one should be, oops, sink it down. There we go. Ah, look at that. We actually have water now. Now I don't want it to be too, too deep because I want to be able to back a trailer, one of my water trailers up somewhat close to this. And then uh, we'll go from there. We'll just kind of edge this around. And over here as well, go a little bit off. 
and maybe we'll do a little bit of mud around the edges here just to flesh it out a bit more. I find the grass on the outside always looks so kind of just looks a little bit funny. Uh, we need to go over this way a bit more still. There we go. All right, so mud, 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 mud. Perfect, all right. We may do some more touching up around this in the coming days. We'll see how that all works out. But uh, we now have a water source at least that I can uh, I be able to back up a truck or a trailer and uh, fill fill with some uh, with some water here. Let's see if I can just kind of sculpt this a little bit. We'll just soften this all up. It's not as rigid at least. And we're spent. What did we spend about? Oh, a couple thousand bucks there. Well, we, I don't know what we were at beforehand. Probably maybe ten thousand dollars we spent digging this hole out. So it definitely would have been cheaper to uh, not do this and just put on a water tank. But uh, come on, we gotta have a pond on our field, right? All right, it's there. Awesome. Cool. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for us here today. Hope you enjoyed the video as always. If you did, make sure you guys leave me a big old thumbs up there. If you didn't, well, you can hit the thumbs down button and let me know about that as well. Guys, if you have any questions, comments, you know, you know where to do with those, put them down in the comments below, of course. I would love to hear from you. Like I said before, I read every single one of your guys' comments. I even try to respond to most of them, to be perfectly honest. So if you have any questions, I will try to do my best to respond to them. But other than that, guys, I will see you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out. Mm -hmm.